We, we just were having a blast at this expo in Austin. And this woman um, walked up and she kind of looked us up and down and she goes, hmm, skirts for running. Yeah, not gonna work. My name's Nicole DeVoom. I'm the founder of Skirt Sports. We're a women's fitness clothing company based in Boulder, Colorado. In my previous profession, I was a professional triathlete. I found there was something missing in the marketplace, and that was fun, feminine, flattering women's clothing that actually performed well. I was one of those people that had an, an epiphany run. This was the actual results of my epiphany run, and it occurred on a training run. I actually glanced my reflection in a store window. I shook my head and I thought to myself, I look like a boy again, and I'm, I'm so tired of it. I want to look like myself when I'm out here working out. I don't want to compromise my personality and my femininity to get my training in. I raced home and I got home and started scribbling. The word pretty stayed in my mind on that run. So I just want to feel pretty. And I ran home and I wrote that word pretty. I scribbled it down on a piece of paper and along with a whole bunch of other thoughts on revolutionizing the world of women's fitness clothing. So these are the re results of the scribble. And that really was, that was when it hit. That was my inspiration. I ended up structuring my entire concept around one product. Women, no matter what their bodies are, all had this tendency to want to cover their butt. And every great company has started with one thing. And I thought about, I thought about that concept and I thought, I want to focus around this one concept, it's a skirt. And the skirt epitomized femininity to me. This is the first ever skirt that hit the market for running a triathlon. Um, I took that idea and I decided I would stay really focused and I built this brand, Skirt Sports, around a product that had never been done before. Hi guys, I'm Morgan Tran and I'm here doing a photo shoot with Skirt Sports. Spring 11 in the works. I think one of the really big challenges is growing your team. After I got the idea off the ground, I started making prototypes and I hired people to do that because I don't sew, I don't have a technical background. And when you're a really young company and you don't have any money, you basically end up hiring a lot of friends. Some of our core values on the wall. And if you can get people who embody and understand, embody your brand, understand your brand, and even actively use your brand, um, if you have a product or service they can use, it's even better because it just becomes part of them. My name is Sarah Vernon and I'm the Vice President of Operations. My name is Chris Greg Wilson and I am the Skirt Sports Director of Marketing and Branding. So I started out, you know, helping in the warehouse, doing whatever I could and the company started to grow. This is where the magic happens. It's amazing how just a little skirt can put an extra kick in somebody's stride. Everybody is really dedicated to the mission of the company. It's about making women feel good. It's about motivating people to get out the door, to be healthy, to exercise. Our goal is to inspire women. It really is, it's just inspirational. Yes, we would like to inspire them to exercise and get out the door, but even broader, we just want to inspire women to do something great with their lives. And that's really what Nicole is all about and her company. It's getting people excited about fitness and excited about just who they are. And I understood why this product makes you feel good and why, as an athlete, you really appreciate that and why there's a need for it. I continued to race professionally during this idea phase as the idea was becoming a reality. I had the great luck and all the forces collided, but I ended up winning Ironman Wisconsin in September of 2004. And that race was significant, A, because I won an Ironman, but B, because I won an Ironman wearing a skirt prototype of what would later launch Skirt Sports. It's funny, because when I launched the business, I said I will never make a black product. Well, first lesson I learned. The number one request we had for women was, will you please make a black skirt? As a business owner, now I started to think, well, there's a certain amount of energy I need to put towards the passion side, but now I need to start to balance smart business decisions. Skirt Sports got off the ground in 2005. We're five and a half years in and still rolling. 